Okay, so to be able to use the incentive spirometer, um, this is very important for you to teach if your patient had surgery or if they are um, have any respiratory problems like pneumonia. It's really important because what this does is open the airway and the alveoli, and it allows the little alveoli to expand and move around usually consolidated mucus, um, some other um, junk that is in the lungs and helps the gas exchange. So those people with pneumonia that are having troubles with the gas exchange and they have fluid filled air sacs, this allows them to open up the airway and allow the oxygen to get into the capillary bed and for the capillary bed to then uh, remove the CO2 so it doesn't build up and you cause respiratory acidosis. So this is really important. Um, also, it's important to know how to teach people how to do this and use it correctly. So you don't blow into it, you inhale. So you actually have to get a good seal around your mouth and it's not about how high you raise it. It is about the technique about keeping this little toggle in between this bracket. You may have a smiley face on your insonus barometer, you may have an arrow, but that is the key because you want a slow, deep breath in. If you do it too fast, you're only gonna get the top part of your lungs. You're not gonna fill up the lower part of the airway and those alveoli are not gonna expand and it's not good, it's, you're not gonna do it right. Now, some older people, it's really hard to do this with, so we have different devices that will push the pressure in and allow them to have different airways. But those that can do this, it's really important that they create a tight seal and they take a slow, deep breath in. Watching this, instead of really technically watching this, as they increase their technique and they do this like 10 times an hour, which they're supposed to do, then this will slowly start to increase and they'll increase the amount and how high they can get this. So let me just show you how you do this. You take a deep breath out, a regular deep breath out, like a normal breath, and then you're going to inhale, keeping the arrow in between this and having it slow and controlled. And what I did at the end, some people can't do this, but if you can teach them to hold their breath for five seconds afterwards, what happens, it helps pop the VLI open a little bit more, creating better gas exchange. And then, if they can, then they need to do some coughing and deep breathing exercise. Tell them to cough. <coughs> Tell them to take some deep breaths in. And then do this again. 10 times an hour, that's how you do the incident spirometer. Teach your patients how to do this right. Have a great day.